Hi, I'm Lauren Lewis with Power for Parkinson's and today we're going to be working on our exercise of the week, crossing the midline. Before we begin, let me explain why crossing the midline is so important. When, you're, when you move your right side of your body, it's actually your left side of your brain that does that. So by crossing that midline, you're forcing both sides of your brain to talk to one another. And with Parkinson's, it's important because it is a neurological disease, it does affect the brain, it's important to feed, to use the brain as much as possible. So let me show you a few different exercises that can incorporate crossing the body and, and uh, strengthening and using your body. Um, the first exercise is just a, ni a nice easy arm exercise. We can just do arm punches in front, which is what, you know, that's a great arm shoulder exercise. But watch what happens when I cross that midline. Now I'm using my, my brain more fully. So let's try eight of these together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great job. All right, let's continue on. Let's try some uh, leg exercises. A nice strengthening, leg strengthening exercise um, would be just a, a, a knee kick knee down, knee kick, knee down. This is a great exercise. It uses um, your, your upper and lower uh, part of your body. Uh, strengthens your ankle flexion it's a, and, and legs for, for walking, for gait. But we can make this, incorporate across, uh, crossing the body by knee, kick, cross over the knee, kick and down. Knee, cross the ne that midline, just crossing over kick and down. Let's try a few of those together so we can uh, see how that feels and, and get that cross in together. Knee, kick, cross, knee, down. A bit of a pattern, right? Knee, kick, cross, knee, down. Knee, kick, cross, knee, or oh, kick, down. Knee, kick, cross, kick, down. You know what I mean. Knee, kick, cross, kick down. Knee, kick, cross, kick down. Four more. Knee, kick, cross, kick down. Three more. Knee, kick, cross, kick down. Last two, each one each side. Knee, kick, cross, kick down. Last one. Knee, kick, cross, kick down. Great. All right. So we can also incorporate uh, using this and, and using your brain um, by doing opposites, crossing that midline. So we're gonna cross in front of the midline. Instead of just lifting your arm, we can lift up and lift up and then cross down and cross down. So there's a great exercise of stretching and using range of motion, using your shoulders and arms and coming, but crossing that midline, just crossing that arm in front and we can and use even more of our brain by using opposites. Right arm, left leg, right arm, left, left arm, right, left, right. So let's practice that together again, crossing the midline with our arms, but also using our brain because we're using both sides of the body. So here we go. Up, out, down, in. Up, out, down, in. Again, up, out, down, in, up, out, down, in, up, out, down, in. Keep going. Up, out, down. Four more. Up, out, down, in, up, out, down. Last one each side. Up, out, down, in, and up, out, down, in. All right. So those are a few examples. Let's try one more, something, uh, maybe something standing. So um, a, another uh, exercise that we do very often are front lunges. We like to step up and, and back, front lunges. We can use the same muscles for the strength, strengthening those same muscles just by crossing. Cross that midline, come forward and back and forward and back. And if you're gonna practice that, make sure you've got a chair in front of you for balance and safety. So let's try a few of those together. We're gonna to cross that midline. Let's start off with the left leg since I'm on this side. Together, here we go. Cross, 
Back, switch sides, cross, back. Take a nice long step working on gait, cross. Back, cross, back. Eight times, eight, and back, and back. Make sure you're safe. Seven, and back, seven, back. Six, crossing that midline, six. Now we can use the opposite arm, five to incorporate contralateral if you want, or just hold on to that chair. Four more. And three. Good, last two. And one. Great, all right, so now you understand why you use crossing of the midline, and I've given you some examples. I hope you'll practice a lot at home. Thank you, see you next time, bye-bye.